ஸோ நான் மூவிங் ஆன் டு கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் ஃபோர்டீன் மாடல் ரேடியல் க்ரோத் ஆஃப் சுகர் மேப்பிள் ட்ரீஸ் அண்ட் வி ஹேவ் ஆன் தி எக்ஸ் ஆக்சஸ் கரண்ட் மாடரேட் சேஞ்ச் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் சேஞ்ச் அண்ட் தென் த ரேடியல் க்ரோத் இன் சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் பர் இயர் ஆன் த ஒய் ஆக்சஸ் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் த கிளைமேட் சினாரியோ த கிளைமேட் சினாரியோ ஐதர் இட் இஸ் த கரண்ட் தட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் ஹேப்னிங் ரைட் நவ் and then if there is a moderate change in climate and if there is an extreme change in climate and one more thing there is a light gray and black uh, light gray indicates with nitrogen and black indicates without nitrogen so let us see what we have to do ainis ibanis and colleagues studied a forest site in which some sugar maple trees received periodic fertilization with nitrogen to mimic the broader trend of increasing anthropogenic nitrogen deposition in soil ibanis and colleagues modeled the radial growth of the trees with and without nitrogen fertilization under three different climate scenarios the current climate moderate change and extreme change although they found that climate change would negatively affect growth they concluded that anthropogenic nitrogen deposition could more than offset that effect provided that change is moderate rather than extreme so what do we have to do which choice best describes data from the graph that support ibanis and colleagues conclusion ibanis and colleagues have come to some conclusion so the current radial growth in the current climate with nitrogen is high and without nitrogen is low but Uh, with their uh, fertilization with nitrogen with moderate change you can see with nitrogen it has decreased a little bit compared to this and without nitrogen it is also decreased but not that much and what about extreme change in climate when there is extreme change in climate with nitrogen it is quite less and even without nitrogen also it is very less so what uh, they are saying is that they concluded that anthropogenic nitrogen deposition could more than offset that effect it can uh, offset the effect of uh, the climate change okay so if uh, uh, what they are doing is they are taking some sugar maple trees and they give them periodic fertilization with nitrogen this is to mimic the broader trend of increasing anthropogenic nitrogen deposition in soil so they are trying to mimic the amount of nitrogen in soil so with and without nitrogen under three different climate scenarios they have observed so what they found is that climate change would negatively affect growth uh, but that can easily be offset if the uh, climate change is moderate rather than extreme so it is affecting only if the uh, climate change is extreme not if not much if it is uh, if the climate change is moderate that's what we have to select here which choice best describes data from the graph that support ibanis and colleagues conclusion a growth with nitrogen under the current climate exceeded growth with nitrogen under moderate change but the latter exceeded growth without nitrogen under extreme change b growth without nitrogen under the current climate exceeded growth without nitrogen under moderate change but the latter exceeded growth with nitrogen under extreme change c growth with nitrogen under moderate change exceeded growth without nitrogen under moderate change but the latter exceeded growth without nitrogen under extreme change so you can see they are so similar in wordings uh, but the latter has been used so many times and d says growth with nitrogen under moderate change exceeded growth without nitrogen under the current climate but the latter exceeded growth with nitrogen under extreme change so which should we select now choice d is the best answer because it describes data from the graph that support ibanis and colleagues conclusion that increasing anthropogenic nitrogen deposition can compensate for the negative effect of climate change on tree growth if that change is moderate but not if it's extreme now what do we see the bar graph shows the growth of sugar maple trees with and without nitrogen under three different climate change scenarios current conditions a moderate change and extreme change and according to the graph radial growth without nitrogen fertilization is projected to be 0.16 cm under current conditions without nitrogen if we observe for the current we have to see the black bar it is a little bit about 0.5 which means it is 0.16 so according to the graph radial growth without nitrogen fertilization 
is projected to be above 0.16 cm under current conditions and 0.15 under moderate change what about moderate change uh, without nitrogen that is 0.15 cm and what about in extreme change in extreme change it is less than 0.05 so in fact 0.04 cm under extreme change so the graph also shows that with nitrogen fertilization growth is projected to be 0.18 cm under moderate change but what if we apply nitrogen to it so this is 0.18 cm and only 0.06 but uh, with extreme uh, climate change only 0.06 cm under extreme change so does the data in the graph support the researchers conclusion by showing greater growth for a moderate change using nitrogen fertilization than they do either under current conditions without nitrogen fertilization or under an extreme change with nitrogen fertilization so what we what the researchers are looking for uh, what they are concluding growth with nitrogen under moderate change is exceeding okay so with nitrogen is 0.18 under moderate change and but the latter latter means without nitrogen 0.15 exceeded growth with nitrogen so even with nitrogen if there is extreme change in climate that is uh, very less with nitrogen it is less and in fact with moderate change even without no nitrogen it is 0.15 but with extreme change with and without nitrogen it has become very less a is incorrect because although it accurately represents the data in the graph uh, this is also correct it is saying that growth with nitrogen under current climate exceeded growth with nitrogen under moderate change but the latter latter means growth with nitrogen under moderate change this is former and this is latter what we tell later that is latter so growth with nitrogen exceeded growth without nitrogen under extreme change growth with nitrogen under moderate change that means we have to look at this one exceeded growth without nitrogen that is this one we are comparing this with this but that will not help us uh, to uh, derive what we need for ibanis and colleagues conclusion and b is incorrect although the graph accurately represents the data in the graph this fact pattern doesn't support ibanis and colleagues conclusion that the decline in radial growth due to climate change will be partly offset by higher levels of atmospheric nitrogen so here it says growth without nitrogen under current climate growth without nitrogen under current climate we have to look at is black bar for the current and exceeded growth without nitrogen under moderate so again we have to look at the black bar for the moderate change okay so we can see it is 0.6 and 0.1 uh, 0.16 and 0.15 so slightly more it is but the latter latter means this moderate change without nitrogen uh, exceeded growth with nitrogen so now this with the gray one we are comparing it's exceeding so but this is not what uh, ibanis and colleagues need okay then again c c is incorrect this is also accurately representing the data in the graph but this fact pattern doesn't support ibanis and colleagues conclusion their conclusion is that the decline in radial growth due to climate change will be partly offset by higher levels of atmospheric nitrogen but only if change is moderate and not extreme what we, what they are trying to show is that if they add a little nitrogen under moderate change of uh, climate it is okay okay it is uh, able to manage or keep the uh, comparative growth but under extreme conditions it is not possible to keep the growth in this particular choice c mentions only the growth with and without nitrogen fertilization under moderate climate change and growth without nitrogen fertilization under extreme change which don't provide a basis to determine whether higher nitrogen in the future will be able to offset reduced growth due to climate change so you have to be very careful in this one because the words are all so similar to each other so we have to choose carefully so main thing we have to look at the three different climate scenarios and what we exactly need which is that so they are trying to show that if uh, nitrogen is added then the moderate climate change will not affect the growth or the um, radial growth of sugar maple trees but if there is extreme change with or without nitrogen there is a decrease in the uh, radial growth of the sugar maple tree